Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Luke with Puffingston and today I want to talk about when you're getting started out with Prezi, what are the top shortcuts you should really learn? Obviously there are many keyboard shortcuts that you can take advantage of and I'll certainly make those available as I do with my training courses. However, you can't learn them all at once. So what are the most important ones that uh, really help you start taking it advantage of Prezi and its capabilities immediately. So that's what I wanted to focus on today. You can see I've actually got them listed here in the top left. So I'm going to show how to do all four of these that I think are really important to know for beginner users. The first one is the letter F. That is how you draw a frame. And I guess I should say before uh, I start getting into this, you'll want to make sure at this top right here that you have shortcuts enabled. Sometimes they default to off, so you'll want to make sure that you have that. Uh, click on the bolt icon here and click on enable shortcuts to make sure that is available. Alright, so the first one is the letter F on your keyboard. And when I click on that, you'll see a little cursor uh, icon changes there, and that allows me to start drawing my frames for my Prezi. Now, if I have an aspect ratio defined, you can see now I can actually use a 4 by 3 or if I have 16 by 9 to find to draw a perfect frame so that my contents are formed just like that. So I have now drawn my frame. I'd want to draw another frame, click on it again, and do the same thing. So I can make it small, I can make it large, by I'm just clicking the letter F and then drawing frames. And that's a, a really easy way to get those created. All right. The second one is the letter P, and that adds items to a path. So you can do that by clicking on the Edit Path and then clicking these, but the Edit Path button's down here. It can be a little bit annoying to get to. So rather than doing that, you can simply click the letter P to achieve the same purpose. So I click the letter P on the keyboard, and I'm now in path editing mode, and I can click on any of my items to add them to the path. So let's say I want box number one, box number two, and box number three added. And maybe I'll just end on this as well. All right, so that's how to add something to paths. Um, third, I want to talk about loading files. All you have to do there is click on the letter L. For all of these, you want to make sure you don't have a text dialog open. So right now, if I click on F, of course, or P or L, uh, that just starts typing in there. So you want to make sure you don't have any type of text box open at the moment to make that enabled. All right, I'm going to click on the letter L. Now you'll see this will actually starts loading file. So the way you do that the other way is click on Insert and then From File or whatever you want to. But if you want to really quickly load a file, just simply click on the letter L. It'll open up your dialog box, and I'm going to click on the Puffingston logo, and I'm going to add that to, um, to my Prezi here. Finally, my fourth most popular shortcut that I take advantage of is uh, selecting multiple items at once. Sometimes that's not clear how to do in Prezi. So let's say I want to move all three of these boxes and the Winston uh, logo here. All I do is hold down the shift key and then drag my mouse at the same time. So now I'm getting all these items over. And you'll see that it has now selected all of these items. Uh, one really neat thing is I could group these all together to incorporate them into an animation or most often I'm just actually moving them or resizing them. So I can resize them all together rather than having to do it each individually. So that's a really handy function. Uh, to be taking advantage of. So I'm going to drag these over here. As soon, unless I group them, um, let's assume I didn't though, as soon as I click off, they are all just one item again. So if I want to re-select them or just select certain items, I hold down shift again. And now it's selected just the two items I circled here. So again, a very, very handy shortcut for moving items uh, around the Prezi canvas. And now I can just go into my presentation mode just like I normally would and those are my most uh, I guess I should end on that last slide there one two three 
So these are the most used shortcuts. Uh, this is Luke with Puffington. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, look forward for more in the upcoming weeks. Thank you.